Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get to it. Y'all here for it? Kanye West rocks a shoulder pad shirt in regards to his latest outing with Bianca, his wife. They're out and about getting ice cream. He looks huge. It almost didn't look like him. But he is rocking whatever he has to rock just to kind of just say, hey, I'm doing it my own way. I'm going to dress my own way. Nobody's dressing like me. And we agree. <laughs> we agree. His shoes are blue today. It is his shoe socks. And Bianca is rocking some kind of mask for her face. Some kind of light tan gray pants and some heels. So many people are saying, what are they doing? They're just doing them because the K's and the J's have brought them into the media, into their drama, into their conflict, into their conversation. But comments are going in. People literally, literally want Kim to move on. They do. Let, <laughs> let's go through some of them, shall we? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Yay's chilly. Leave that man alone. No, Kimberly. Uh, um, I disagree because we still love yay. Um, let's see. Stop talking about him because he's cool. Um, one, it's like, no, the tape is still an issue. So many people are asking, is the tape sales down? Why is she talking about the tape? Huh? She mentioned it. She sat there. She cried. And allegedly people feel she did not tell the truth. There's alleged three. I could shock you, but I'm not. <laughs> There's alleged three. And like I said before, you cannot sell a tape without your ID and your approval. They would be sued. She's making money on the tape. Is tape sales down? What's really going on? Why is she mentioning it? So let's listen in on what she had to say. I was shocked, y'all, but I'm not. I'll hold on to that for another day. Um, yeah, many people says, okay, she's trying to blame Kanye in regards to mentioning it. And then she's trying to allege, say Kanye basically said she cheated their whole marriage. Come on, he gonna stay with you and you cheated the whole marriage? Come on, everybody, everybody's calling him out. Old storylines, boring storylines, seeking a storyline, PR stunt, girl move on, trying to find a relationship. That's why people don't want to be a part of that. The Pete Davis situation was not an okay situation. Kanye never brought in any of his girlfriends into Kim's situationship. None of Kanye's ex-girlfriends ever text Kim that we know of. She'll probably try and find one though. But yeah, it's interesting. So let's get to, let's get to the clip. <laughs> Cause everybody's like, nah, girl. We don't we don't we don't agree. We don't agree and we don't agree. Kids caught in Kim Hay's war as Kanye goes after Kim and her mom. Even through all of the craziness of everything that Kanye says about us, like I never comment. Kanye says about y'all, or y'all actually do. You see the difference? They have a play on words. They play with people. And see, this is the biggest thing that I've learned about the K's and the J's. Each other sister goes for their BS. Even though when they know it's not truthful, they say, oh yeah, they were wrong. Oh yeah, you were right. And we see that Tristan is not a D. <laughs> the Tristan situation, Kim supports him. But you're downing Kanye. But then you're saying Kanye said you cheated. But then you're supporting a cheater. 
Okay. Or as Kanye goes after Kim and her mom. <laughs> all of the craziness of everything that Kanye says about us. Like, I never comment. I never post. Like, he has made us good. But she's commenting now. This is where she drags people because they can't have a response. You understand? She's not going to do too much in interviews because then people will want to talk more about it. But what was your part in it? What was your fault in it? People are talking about your co-parenting. People are talking about um, alleged. People are talking about alleged grooming. People are questioning your parenting more so than Kanye's. So when they do interviews, they have to be careful because as you open stuff up, people will start to question. Let me interview a Kardashian. I, I trust and believe it won't be with the interviews they just did. I will ask, okay, you're saying this, but this is what was reported. Interviews. It's calling Kim Ye's war as Kanye goes after Kim and her mom. You went through all of the craziness of everything that Kanye says about us. Like, I never comment. I never post. Like, he has made up the most insane narrative about you and the tape. And we stay silent. We stay silent. Mothers, teach your daughters different. We see that they struggle with relationships. Kim struggled. She's dated how many people? Kylie struggled. She dated how many people? And Chloe struggles. Blame game. It's always everybody else's fault. It's always everybody else's fault. I never comment. I never post. Like he has made up the most insane narrative about you and the tape. And we stay silent. We stay silent. Through all the lies, all the stuff. I, I think at this point, I just assume everything I text Kanye is going to be put on the internet. I think I can handle anything. I just get free. And this is how she seeks sympathy to go into events. What was me? Did you see what he posted? Did you see what he said? But then people don't see the back end of not putting the children on a plane when they're supposed to meet their dad. Not having the child show up for an event when they're supposed to meet with the dad. Not having the dad go to the child's party when you are the parents. Okay, you have your separate, you can film it. I'll have my separate, you can film it. End of story. It's always that she does nothing wrong. This is the other thing I'll talk about. And I don't think I talked about it in the other video. She talked about how everybody else needs to get their stuff together. And nobody is in control of themselves. She needs one day. Can I just have one day so I can I can feel a way? Everybody else is, she makes it seem like everybody else is such a mess. And she's this perfect person. I'll find the clip and I'll play it later. But I was stunned. It's like, girl, what? You what everybody else is a a mess and you have it together and you just want one day to just not be together what through all the lies all the stuff i, I think at this point i just assume everything i text kanye is going to be put on the internet i think i can handle anything i just get really heartbroken from my mom that she has to deal with so much you know from so many different sides of people coming at her but you, you can't control somebody else. You know, he's doing this to himself. But even just, like, how he looks so down on me for, like, my tape and brings it up all over town, all over the media. Like, thanks for reminding people once again. Thanks for reminding people or you're bringing it up right now. Literally, our sales down. Ray J and Kim are still allegedly getting paid for that tape. Alleged tape one, tape two, or tape three. And alleged she had copies of it. And alleged she had help filming it. Hello. Check back what Ray J said. So this is another situation ship where they're bringing up the tape. This is the third season. Boring storyline. Same old storyline. Same old regurgitated. And it looks like she's reading something. So she can make every point. It looks like she's reading cue cards. It really does. And then the mom is correcting certain words. You, know, you can't go town all over the media. Like, thanks for reminding people once again. All of his shenanigans, I don't even know what the f to call it. Rhetoric. It's going to be far more. So the rhetoric. So people are dragging her, saying, no, Kim, you getting involved with somebody is going to be way worse than what the words Kanye said. 
the tape is out there for the world to see. The tape is out there. And alleged there was another one that was supposed to be, but they said no, that would not have painted her in a good light. It's going to be far more damaging to the kids one day than my tape will ever be. That's right. And I have to sit here and not say anything ever because I know one day my kids will appreciate that. And I know that like, is the best thing for them. And by the way, I'm the one where shit could be going down. There's the crying. So you're trying to say the tape? You did Playboy. Hello. You did the Reggie Bush uh, calendar. So you continue to over actualize things. They over actualize things. So that's what I was talking about, that the family loves to feed into their the BS stuff. They do. They approve it. That's why the girls can't be honest and take ownership of stuff. They have their own way of thinking how things went down, but we really see what happened. We've seen it. We've heard it. I mean, what, what are, you're telling us we're lying. So the, what he says is worse than you and people are calling it bust down. <laughs> you're bringing it up Ray J again. What will Ray J do? And it is a distraction in this video. She in Balenciaga again, Balenciaga over actualized children. That's concerning. That's concerning. Because I know one day. My kids will appreciate that. And I know that, like, is the best thing for them. And by the way, I'm the one where shit could be going down. And I get in the car and every day the kids want to blast dad's music. And I'm like, he's the best, yes. And I put it on and we're singing along and inside I'm like dying because yeah. I will be his biggest cheerleader to them forever. And one day when they, they see for themselves, I'll answer whatever they want me to. But like, it's just... It's too much for one person to take. And the one that was supposed to protect me and still does interviews saying they will be my forever protect. But see, the biggest thing is, have you really protected him? You've continued to put him, he wasn't even on the show for years. And then he went on the show and now they're still talking about him. He should have said, don't talk to me about the show. As soon as he went on that show, it messed up his NDA to be talked about on the show. She's going to forever talk about him, Pete. Until she gets in another situation ship and men are seeing red flags. Red flags about Pete. Red flags about Kanye. Red flags about how she talks about parenting. Hello, you're a parent of four. And you didn't think you and Kanye were going to even make it. And then you had three beautiful children. You had three additional more. Come on. Three additional more. Even though she don't text about it, we see what he's saying. It's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. We see what Ray J said, alleged comments. Okay, so mothers, teach your daughters difference because it doesn't seem like they take on ownership of their bad, poor relationship decisions. And they continue to talk about these men that allege, allege situation ships. Bells, I'll answer whatever they want me to. But like, it's just, it's too much for one person to take. And the one that was supposed to protect me and still does interviews saying they will be my forever protector is the one that is hurting me the most. He was the one that started a rumor that set up... There's been a lot going on with Kanye, right? Set up... Uh, she, she's saying that's when she has said that she, he has said that she allegedly cheated the whole marriage. And she alleged cheated with Drake. And she's saying that's not true. So you're saying he said you cheated the whole marriage? So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.